welcome to this episode of NCAA 2K20. We are in the Legends Classic, and we begin with Game 1. It's Auburn and Minnesota. I'm going as the Tigers today. Yeah, and I have uh, Minnesota. Kind of excited to play with them because they have, uh, you know, Patino as the coach here. Not the Patino we all know and love, but the, the other one. <laughs> <laughs> that, that other guy, you know? The other Richard. one, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, I, let's just continue the conversation that we were having right before we started recording, which is you were excited to play with Minnesota, so I'm, I'm curious why. They uh, they have some good players on the team here. They have uh, the Canadian that I'm currently Ooh. playing as, Marcus Carr, point guard here. I think he's uh, a lot better than what people believe. He's originally from Toronto. He played at, played at Mont, was it Mont Verde Academy, I believe is what it's called. Um, ooh. It'd be cool if I could shoot the ball there. Um, <laughs> we break the fourth wall real quick and say that we we changed the in-game quarters from four minutes to three minutes because we had scores that were like 140 to 141 or something. We had we had ridiculous <laughs> score lines, so we've changed it. So be realistic that, if we went to like triple overtime. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But we had games in regulation that were going like that. There you go, Wiley. Just take him straight to the wall. Wiley is oh my god. Wiley is the only center for, for Auburn currently. So the Legends Classic is just, there's four teams. Uh, each team plays each other once, and then uh, that's it. The, the the team with the best record uh, is going to win the tournament. Great steal oh. from Collier. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, oh. He said, no. I don't want you here. Oh, no. no we're we're going to reward the big man. Oh, I just I just went sprinting off the court. Oh, that was. I appreciate the. The big man running some kick and roll too. You love to see it. You do love to see it. What's what? happening? So the other two teams in this tournament I should mention are. Yep. Uh, are who we have next? Baylor and and uh, and Washington. Uh, Washington. That's right. That's right. So we've got their game coming up next. Oh, that wasn't good. That was a risky pass as well. Risky shot from Mr. Oh. Headman. I'm trying to get her some points here. What was that? Yeah, we'll take that. Boys, we need points in transition now. We can't be having that. So we'll have that Baylor-Washington game for you. And then probably if, if there is a game that will decide the champion of the tournament, then we'll have that as well in this episode. Yes. Come on, Purifoy. Uh, I didn't mean to sh that's I think, right. I think our big men here on Minnesota, because like you said, you're running four guards out here. We have at least two big men and are our two best players on our team here. They're really just, they're really showing the team all take here. That. Long too, though. Yeah, no, 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 you're absolutely right. I mean, I'm getting, it, it, it's been evidence in a couple possessions. I'll let him have that one. Oh. It's definitely been evidence in a couple possessions one. this first half where you had like one or two offensive boards and, and the second chance points uh, have really come yes. back to, to bite the Tigers here. Good oh steal. my gosh. I'll take I, meant that. To, I meant to call a play and I yeah, just. Let's see, call it. Yeah. It up. <laughs> I meant to call a play and I ended up just passing it to that person. Yeah, I, I know how that goes. Collier, though, getting the outlet, getting up. Who fouled him? Please. Oh, ref, I was standing Collier. three feet from him. I'm terrible at this game on defense, ref. You know that, and I know that. There's no way I would have been I'm close enough to get. Oh, my God. Terrible at free throws right now. Jeez. All right, well, you were up by 10 at one point. And, uh, and now. And now, why is Dowdy huge? He's supposed to be 6'4. I don't. He looks bigger than 6'4. Yeah, Dowdy looks like 6'9. <laughs> That was that was a terrible take. That was absolutely horrendous. Washington. Oh, what a what, was that a block? I didn't see. Hurt. <laughs> no. And that's the end of the third game is tied. <coughs> Going into the last three Somehow. minutes. Somehow. Whoa! Did he <gasps> miss the dunk? Oh, that wasn't good. I think you I think you might have gotten a hand on that. What a pass! No! Wow, I can't believe that got through. Oh. <gasps> what? 
Are you joking me right now? <laughs> they're going to call, they're really going to call free throw on that. Okay. Foul for a free throw. I'll take it though. Macklemore <sighs> knocks them both down. Just tossing up. That's money. Okay, well That's done. That's a good shot. To go that was look. right after I switched into the zone as well, which the computer does not understand how to play. Just going isolation. Oh. Beautiful steal. Okay, here comes Purifoy. Come on. Come on. You can outrun him, Purifoy. Nope, we'll just work it back up top. Getting down to a minute left. We need to score here. Yep, that's beautiful. That's beautiful pick and oh, rolling right I there from I Collier. I thought I could come across there. That's it right there. Auburn's only had three turnovers. Six points off turnovers. Who's the foul Oh, my game? gosh. Wiley. Wiley. Oh, this is this is some EA stuff right here. EA doesn't even make S this game. Serious, <laughs> seriously. You guys have been terrible at the, at the free throw line tonight. Oh, my gosh. Really have been. Okay. This, everyone, everyone's just cleared out. Everyone's just completely cleared out from that. And then he hits. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Yep. Just step up give and me hit that. it. Collier. Collier was my leading scorer, but he's probably shooting like 30% right now. Oh, pull up Please. three. Oh, no. Oh, that is sweet. 30 yeah, seconds left. So I can't. I can't hold for the final shot. Exactly, but I can hold until close to. Right, you see. gotta tie it first. <laughs> yeah, just put it in. Just put it in Collier's hands. Oh no! I meant to step back. That was terrible. You, I, meant, I don't know what you were doing there. I, I really the, don't know what you I were doing I meant for there. the step back. I saw the screen coming, and I meant there for the go. step back. And instead, he just he just lofted one oh. up. Oh, now you make two free throws. Two green releases? Are you kidding me right now? Yeah, all right. We just got to release that one. Call your pull up. That was great. Oh, I thought deep. I had. Yeah, all right. That's going to be it for that one. Why are you calling time out? I want more points. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm glad oh, you missed. I I'm, missed. I'm glad you missed. <laughs> no. Unbelievable. <laughs> Minnesota a, takes the win. Fun on that one. Courtesy of a, a a just just appalling <laughs> possession from Auburn to end the game. <laughs> oh my god. Looking for revenge next. It's Baylor and Washington. Back with game two of the tournament, Washington and Baylor. And these are two teams that we are really, really high on. It's Washington for me. And last game we had two teams that did not have a lot of depth when it came to the front court. Uh, this this game is pretty much the polar opposite, at least from Washington's perspective. That wasn't good. Not a good start. Washington just has so much depth in the front court. Four centers listed on this team. And to put that in perspective, last game both teams combined for three. So... Yeah. <laughs> Size, I Ooh, nice. Oh, wow. Nice he play. pickpocketed green there. I've always had an issue playing against Size. Why did. I mean, I'll take Seriously, that. Seriously, that's. Oh, my God. I'll the air that. ball goes for the assist. And I, I personally have an issue playing against Size. So if Baylor gets absolutely creamed this game, it's not a testament to who they actually are. It's just I don't know how to play against Size in the NBA. I just get bodied. Fair enough. And there's not really a lot of Size on Fair this enough. Baylor team. Nick. Um, and I think if there's one thing that Pac-12 does lack, it's going to be size this year. So I think Washington is, is constructed to, to win the Pac-12. Fair. It's a bold claim, but I'll take it. I don't really know much. You're the as long as they Pac can... Oh, I'll take that. You're the Pac-12 expert here. I won't I'll... take that, though. Yep. Backcourt? What do you mean? <laughs> that was sloppy. That was sloppy. Um, yeah, no, I... I... I definitely watch Pac-12 basketball more than uh, more than most people. Uh, certainly more so than a lot of the than a lot of the committee does. We can. That's a whole separate video. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the rebound there. But yeah, I like where Washington's at. No way. That's straight a drive. Brilliant take. Drive it straight to the hoop. Ooh.
Well, oh. into the first. I was like, why did everyone stop playing defense? <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't pull up when I wanted him to, so that was fun. Right. Yes, absolutely. Oh, don't give it to Soren. It did 7 no 4. Nick Daniels. What did I just say about the athletic ability of these guys? Yeah, shoot oh. that over a 7 4 guy, please. I will give you that shot all day. McDaniel no showing the range. No way. Oh. Contested three. Oh no! Picked his pocket there. Yes. Wow. Slow Thamba. Thamba's got seven already. Okay, just cutting all the way across the floor. Oh, I see the open man. Yep, just post up. Just post up there, Timmons. Oh, beautiful turnaround. Ah. Good timeout. Needed that. That's good uh, both these teams can score flat out. We know that. Um, the shooting is going to be suspect for both of these teams, I think. That's a really good look. Oh. That was a, that was a good play, though. I really like that. Uh. It's unfortunate it didn't go in. But I think that says more about Washington's shot selection than anything else. Because again, they do have the, all these all these front court players. Oh, I didn't even see him fall. Timmons going straight to the cup. Tough, tough. Interesting. That's a high ball screen there from Isaiah Stewart. See, there's the athleticism oh. I'm talking about right there from Stewart. That's what I'm saying. That's why I like this Washington team. Like, like you wouldn't you would think in the, in the kind of new age of basketball that. Being so stacked in the front court would not help you as much, but this this is a this is a kind of new style of front court players. Right. Into the quarter, Naz Carter. That was a great late jump there. <laughs> oh, that's a great pass. Yeah, that, was, that was an excellent find there from the player. I'm surprised he even made it, but we're looking, <laughs> all, we're looking all right here. Oh, Ooh, Mayor! Just, just taking McDan just. Putting it right in McDaniel's eye hole right there. These <laughs> have been two pretty subpar offensive possessions from me. And then that uh, transit. Oh, that would have been. That would have been the easiest. Just a deeper timeout. three. Just a deeper seriously, three. Seriously, he just missed it from the same spot. <laughs> Specifically, Nick Rokosevic, who made the team of the week, uh, week one. Yes. I think USC's big man here could be, take and beat Washington, but I think. There's other areas that of USC that lack that. That's where they would fall in the pack. Missed them both. Oh, Someone's he's supposed to be out, out for the three. Someone's gotta. Someone's gotta have that. Yeah, your team let me doesn't foul, really understand foul, the concept of foul. full court press. It's not letting me do it. <laughs> it's ridiculous right now. Pull up three. <laughs> just something, All right. just something. <laughs> That'll end that one. So Washington wins it over Baylor. Game was closer than it looked like it might be. But yes. that gives Washington and Minnesota wins in their first games of the tournament. So we will have the tournament clinching game for you, should there be one next. We are in the deciding game of the Legends Classic, and so it's been moved to the bigger arena where the Hornets play. Uh, we've got Auburn and Washington, and so how this is going to break down is Washington right now is 2-0 in the tournament, picking up wins over Minnesota and the one we showed you against Baylor. Auburn is 1-1, one one, but they haven't played Washington yet, meaning if they beat the Huskies today, they will have the tiebreaker and therefore win the Legends Classic, and that's a good start for the Tigers. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's been it's been good from Washington. They've been really good, just like uh, you you said you predicted they were going to be good scoring from a lot of different people there. They just come out and played, and Auburn somehow finds himself in this position after uh, doing pretty decently themselves as well. So. Now this on paper is a good matchup for Washington uh, because they have such a great front court like we discussed in their last game. And Auburn obviously just has Austin Wiley and really not a lot of depth behind him. 
which we saw in their first game against Minnesota. Oh. And then just, I immediately get blown by. What a play by Isaiah Stewart. All the way across. What a pass from Quade Green. This Washington team is something else, man. I'll let you take that. Dude, Stewart from the corner. Oh. Little elbow Stone. jumper from Stone. Bay. Beautiful. Six points in the first. Thomas Collier on the ball. He was Auburn's best player. Minnesota. Nice wow, great take. take. Collier playing playing injured. He was hurt in that game against against uh, the Gophers. Oh, oh Bay almost caps oh off that quarter with a big shot. Well, yeah, he dislocated playing, his shoulder in that game against the Bears, but he's still in. He's a, he's a playing hurt right now. So Raekwon Battle in his first game had 19 points, all on all at the free throw line. Ah, oh, Timmons. Ooh, great steal, great steal crazy. from battle right there. Yep, just take it straight to the yep. hole there from right. Who do you like on this Auburn team? Uh, not a lot. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, Washington, uh, traditionally now, or not traditionally, but what they are now, are known for being a defensive school. Uh, certainly last year with some of the talent that they had, but offensively right now, they are looking really good. Oh, oh. That's a beautiful take from Isaiah Stewart. But they have their head coach, whose name I'm forgetting just off the top of my head, but he was a former Jim Beheim assistant, so he plays that classic Beheim 2-3 zone, and Washington Absolutely. taking a six-point lead in the locker room at half. So. This is not as high scoring of an affair as we had the last time we saw Washington in action against Baylor. They ended up with 101 points in that game. Yep. But Baylor, I mean, 0-3, they might. I, I said they looked good, but they might not actually be that good this year. I mean, they had oh. two players leave for the pros. We'll take that. Two players leave for the pros um, early season, and now they're a little bit less depleted squad from what they probably could have been. And a reminder Absolutely. that if I win with Auburn here, we win the tournament. And yes. again, I will win yet another tournament here despite being outplayed. <laughs> Just a reminder You're to all the folks right watching that. here that are rooting for me. You're right about that. Did you win the Battle for Atlantis? That's a couple episodes ago now, and I actually can't remember. Oh, what a block. Say, what a block. Are you kidding you say, me? Get out, Wiley. Yeah, so I think you won that, and then you won the Orlando Invitational. As Texas yep. Tech beat Kentucky twice to win that tournament, yeah, Quay Green's terrible at the free throw line. And so now you have uh, the le you have a, you have the Legends Classic. You have the opportunity to win the Legends Classic here. God, add it to my trophy case. <laughs> well, we've got Ma we've got the Maui Invitational up next, and that's got UCLA in it. So I think I think I've got to be considered the predominant favorites in any tournament UCLA is in. No way. No way he makes that. Oh. 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 And then I just oh, turned it into my game. Yes. 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 We'll take oh, it. Oh, my we'll God. I have it. bottled it. I have absolutely bottled it. Beautiful steal from oh. Naz Carter. And then Isaiah Stewart running the floor. Look at the five running. Oh, my God. You could look at it. <laughs> You can look at him run the floor. You can't look at him making the shot. Oh, St Stewart almost gets the steal as well. Cool. Yep, yep, oh, yep, yep. Wow, yep. what a take. We got a tie Tying game it. somehow. Ooh. Somehow we have a tie we've both, game. We've both been dialed How in here. Is this I, I mean, I played really. You've shot poorly since the first half, and I've played really, really well here. Oh, you're see, absolutely right. I, you know what? You're gonna. I think his no. foot was on the line, though. Oh, it wasn't. All right. Bay's been my leading scorer all day. I'll take that. Front guarding. What a de what a defensive possession from Bay. It wouldn't let me do anything. <laughs> what? Why is Stewart running the point though? That's my question. Oh, wow. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, Wiley. <laughs> it's a gutsy play. That's the center who's stepping up to defend that. 
Oh, that's not. No. That's fine. We'll just play the easy pass there, Isaiah. Someone's got to get someone. Injured. You can make those. Yep. 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 It's yep. his left yep. shoulder that's hard, not his right. Come on now, boys. You know that. We went over this in the game plan. Oh, no. No, as long as... As long as Bay doesn't do anything. All right, come on, Stuart. We need you. Yep. yep. That's not what I meant. A foul. Yep. We'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take that. Oh my God! You could actually win this game. You could actually be winning this game. I, what do you mean? I win championships. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I got screed. Who was guard? Oh, oh. wow! Was that Carter? <laughs> Oh, I think so. Thank the Lord for Carter. He just he just saved the the go ahead basket right. Th <gasps> come on, come on! Ah. Oh no! Come on! Yep, 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 yep. No way with this. I'm having I'm having flashbacks. Oh. <gasps> Just get across. Get across half court. I'll take the timeout. All right. Got that in without any trouble. Oh, this is not the time game. <laughs> oh, just taking the floater from Bay. Oh, yep, my yep, God. Yep, How has we'll he missed we'll the floater? We'll that was such a good we'll look. <laughs> That's the look I wanted. How is Purifoy as a free throw go. shooter? Uh, he's solid. He's solid. He would be. Come on, that's it. Oh, at my. least a tie now. At least a tie oh, now. Oh my! Now I'm out of timeouts as well. <gasps> oh, oh, he was open as well. That's what we wanted. Green with the spot of three. No. Yes, sir. Yes, how, sir. How on earth uh, has Auburn ooh. won this game? Auburn taking down. I'm Washington. actually, I'm actually in shock. I'm actually in shock. Oh my god! You with Collier with a hyperextended left shoulder, and they took down. Oh my god! Took down Washington. Team of the week number two in NCAA 2K20, and just the one tournament this week. It was the Legends Classic, where three teams ended two and one. So it's a balanced team of the week, and we begin with our honorable mention. It's Jamal Bay from Washington, averaged 13 points and led the tournament with six assists per game, added 52% from the field. Perfect, and we have Thomas Collier next from Auburn, who uh, was playing injured for most of the tournament here, um, got injured midway through the first game there. But he had 14 points, five assists, which was pretty impressive, along with three steals, which was the most averaged in the tournament, and was shooting 43% from the field and from three. And we move next to his teammate in the backcourt from Auburn, Anthony McLemore, who led the tournament in scoring, averaging 20 points a game, added three rebounds and three assists as well, at a shocking 74% clip from the field. And next up, it's Daniel Oturu from Minnesota. Um, he had a double-double with 11 points, 10 rebounds, um, and he also averaged two and a half blocks and shot 45% from the field. And we move to the other Husky on our Team of the Week. It's Isaiah Stewart, the freshman, averaged a double-double himself at 10 and 10, and at a 17.4 rebound rate, he was the guy for the Huskies down low. And finally, we have Alion Demir from the Golden Gophers here. He had nine points, 10 rebounds, and four blocks, most in the tournament, while shooting 55% from the field, along with being one for one on three points. 